you're too afraid to admit this, but you don't want to start your YouTube channel because you are afraid of trolls. You don't want to start your YouTube channel, okay? Really be honest with yourself. You don't want to start your YouTube channel because you're scared of the really vicious, cruel, nasty things that people can say online. You're too nervous to start your YouTube channel because you feel like someone that you went to high school with, you went to college with, an old coworker is going to be laughing at you, making fun of you behind the scenes and you don't want them to come across your page. So I'm going to tell you how I got over that. And since my personal page has been doing like a little bit of a pop and I'm getting more subscribers, I still have below 5,000 subscribers. So I'm still a very small YouTuber, but I have been getting an influx of people on my lives. And so people have been saying the most vicious, nasty, disgusting, mean things. And number one, there's a couple things that I'm like, there's actually a really big competitive advantage to having the trolls. And I'll let you guys know what that is in a second. Okay. But you don't want to start the YouTube channel because you're too scared that they actually might say things that are really mean, but part of what they might have to say is also true. Okay. So let me give you an example. I'm from California. I say like all the time, all the time. Every other, I'm probably, I probably already said it 15 times in this video and it's not even two minutes yet. I say like all the time. So someone can get, come to my video and say, wow, she's an idiot. She sounds just unintelligent. She sounds like X, Y, and Z. So I know that that's like something I'm trying to work on, but it also is part of who I am, right? Also saying, um, fumbling over my words, right? So finally, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to rip the bandaid off because when I'm in person and I run into somebody in person and I end up getting in a, into a really nice quality conversation, I probably said, um, and like, and all that, but none of that mattered because we were connecting. Okay, so part of what helped me overcome the fear of just like being seen online, you don't know what people are saying about you, you don't know who's going to send it amongst each other. People could be having a whole watch party about you behind the scenes when you go live, literally just talking mad SHIT about you, right? And you would have no idea and the, and the joke's on you, right? But how I overcame it is that there's people that you need to connect with and I need to connect with. Like there's people that specifically need your message because God placed it on your heart. God gave you the talent. God gave you the gift. God gave you the knowledge. God gave you the experience, right? So I was like, okay, am I really going to sit back all this trial and error that I've done with health, fitness, mindfulness, wellness, because that's what my page is about. All this knowledge that I've accumulated over the last two decades of being a full grown adult, I'm going to just keep to myself because I'm scared that someone's going to call me ugly. Someone's going to say, I say like too much. Someone's going to say, I sound like an idiot. Someone's going to say something really derogatory toward me or whatever, have, have judgments about me. But then this happened. So as I just kind of overcame that, I was, I just ripped the bandaid off. I started going live with barely any makeup on, on the way to the gym, just kind of like, you know, it was kind of like a, a breakout. Like I'm just freeing myself from the overthinking. So I just would be in a sports bra, a, a hoodie with my hair up in a bun or my hair looking crazy with no makeup on. Okay. And I started to get comments one comment here, two comments here. Wow, what you said really like it ignited some inspiration in me. Wow, what you said is exactly what I'm going through and God was right on time because he literally placed what I needed to hear in your mouth to say to me, <laughs> okay? So I was like, this is, this is, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this is why I wanna have a YouTube, right? It's not, to be exalted. It's not to try to keep up with anybody. It's because God has placed something on my heart to share with people. So you know, if I'm talking to you or not, because God may be nudging you to, you might have a whole channel, might have an idea for a whole channel. And it's just about tutorials. People need to like, I literally typed in the other day, how to create a spring shop, right? I don't know how to create a spring shop, right? 
but let's just say, you know, and then the person I found, it's like, they took the time and the effort and yeah, they were showing their face on camera and yeah, they could have been like, I'm just too scared or whatever. But now there's hundreds of thousands of reviews because they just have all this knowledge about how to build online websites, right? So it's like, you could have, it could be about anything. That's the power of YouTube. It literally, there's a new niche that pops up every single day. There's eight billion human beings on the planet. You mean to tell me that something's oversaturated? It's actually the opposite. We're actually undersaturated on a lot of stuff. Okay? So there's a whole community that just wants to talk about knitting. There's a whole community that just wants to talk about a very specific type of curly hair. There's a whole community that just wants to talk about a, a very, very niche like narrow age bracket for women, like only 35 to 40. Like there's a 35 to 40 community. And like, that's all the, that's all the content that, that, that other people want to consume. Right. So, and then the list, I mean, the list is literally endless. Right. And then guess what? There's new things that are, we're evolving as humans. So before artificial intelligence wasn't a topic, like it wasn't overly saturated because it didn't exist really, right? Maybe only like in the movies and stuff like that, but not like at our fingertips. So now there's AI. So there's AI you can incorporate into your beauty routine. There's AI you can incorporate into your fitness routine. There's AI you can incorporate into your wellness routine. Like there's, so now that blasted open an entire new niche, like it, it's not saturated. So what I wanted to tell you is that if you have fear about the trolls that will be there. Number one, it's an indicator that you are creating healthy controversy, right? So, and we know as humans, we like a little controversy. We like, you know, to hear both sides. We like to see a little bit of a debate. So it's a sign that you're, you're doing something. You are creating an emotional reaction out of a certain group of people. Number one, number two, when you have the trolls, they don't even, I, or maybe they do know this. I don't know. The trolls are giving you video ideas. The trolls are literally handing you for free. They're not even charging. They're handing you video ideas. Okay, so if you have a certain point in a video and then there's a troll that's like, you stupid, ugly, B-I-T-C-H, da 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 this is how you actually really do it, right? So then you go and you, t you ignore the first part, go, go to the second part and say, huh, I'm gonna actually research what they're talking about. And they could be completely right or they could be completely wrong. And then you could do a whole video on that. Or, you know, they come to your channel and like, for example, I had a ton of trolls on my channel saying the most weirdest, creepiest, nasty, just like, I can't believe these people don't have a life. Like it, it's almost, it's like really sad. I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do a video about how to overcome <laughs> your fear of not starting your YouTube channel because you're too scared of trolls. So like literally the troll gave me an idea and I have like a whole list of ideas specifically just from trolls because they are creating an opposing argument or, you know, they are igniting something in you that you didn't know was there, right? It might be developing you um, in some character, you know, some character development areas, or it might be helping you with your emotional intelligence, right? It might be helping you practice to be more patient. It might be teaching you how to let things roll off your shoulder. You know, you, you might be becoming more mature. Like literally the trolls are actually like, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> this is a really, really, I'm okay. I'm just going to say it, but only maybe a certain group of people are going to understand. So when I was younger, we used to play street fighter on Sega Genesis. And you know, as you're playing street fighter, as you're like, going through the levels, there's like different battles that you have to overcome and different, you know, opponents that you have to go up against. Right. So that's what I feel like I'm in. Like I'm, I feel like I'm in a real life YouTube video game where like, I'm, I'm, I'm going out there. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to conquer the level, like whatever level that I'm at, which is, you know, just still a growing small YouTube channel. And so I'm trying to conquer that level. Right. So what happens at that level? You have to overcome the fact that you may not get that many views. But I also, what I want to say about that is do not downplay a small amount of views. You have to really look at every single human being as if they were in front of you. So if you only get one view, 
imagine that one human being in front of you. That's, that's a connection right there, right? If you only had seven views, imagine those seven people sitting in front of you. Like you're literally impacting seven people, right? So we're like, well, you know, I only got seven views. I only got eight views. No, there's, or I only got eight subscribers, right? Those eight people you impacted just enough for them to be like, I want to keep up with what this person has to say because they impacted me so much to where I actually am going to subscribe to them. And I don't know who they are. They only have a few videos. They only have 13 subscribers. I don't know who this person is. So arguably the people that are following you at the beginning are your most important people because you didn't need to have all this social proof, right? There's just something about your personality. There's something about the energy you were giving off. There's something about the impact that you were actually exuding through the camera. And even though you only had 13 subscribers, they still subscribed. So there's that. So there's the intimidation of like, you know, am I going to grow or not grow? So the reason why I've been able to keep going after five years of posting on, on YouTube and I haven't hit 5,000 subscribers yet and I'm not monetized yet, like with the 4,000 watch hours. But what keeps me going is A, the people that I'm actually impacting, no matter how small the number is. And then number two, it's actually making me grow as a person, right? It's actually, it, it, when you're playing the small YouTube game, you know, level, cause there's gonna be several levels. When you're still at the small YouTuber level, like there's just things you have to overcome. You, it's almost like getting jumped in, like like a, how gangs are. Like you have to get used to the haters. You have to overcome your cringiness about you. Like you might look at, at a video and be like, oh my gosh, I literally just don't know how to speak. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have something good to say. And the way that it was unfolding in my head is not how it's coming out of my mouth. But you only can get better because you have to practice that. Like speaking is a, is a muscle, right? Being able to just get your, get your message across and get over the jitters and get over your chest starting to feel hot and you're starting to breathe heavy and you starting to, you know, whatever, whatever it is you're dealing with, that is a muscle that you have to keep working at. Yes, there is the one-off people that are just born with that gift, but pretty much anything that you work at, you can grow in that gift. Okay, so somebody else might have the gift of being able to speak, but they haven't had the gifts of the adversity that you've overcome. Like that's the, the, the types of experiences that you had may, yeah, you may not be as good of a speaker, but those experiences are, are literally diamonds and gold. And that's what's going to make your page grow. That's what's going to impact people. Not because you're just this eloquent, articulate powerful speaker. Okay. So that's part of the small YouTube level, like, and just treat it like that. Like, just don't, don't be too, don't overthink it too much. Right. Just know that every time you post a video, you have made yourself a better person because you, a, you put your mind to something and you accomplished it. So you're reinforcing good habits with yourself. You tried something new. You made yourself grow, right? You learned something new. You learned how to do, do something on YouTube that you never knew before. Like every time you post, you literally, it's, it's always a win. It may not be a, a translate into monetary win yet, but it's always a win because you are literally developing priceless skills. And then what's interesting is that the more you do the YouTube, it also translate into your real life as well right? So the more you're practicing speaking on, on here, and then you notice that in conversations, you're feeling a little bit more confident to speak up in front of groups at the dinner table. You know, if you're at like with your coworkers and maybe you were shy to speak, you know, when there's like a whole table of people, maybe you were more the quiet one. Now you're like, you know, saying some little points now, like you're getting more comfortable, right? So there's so many benefits to this that don't let a troll stop you from walking in your purpose, growing in your purpose, because God placed every single human being here on the planet with a set of gifts. Like it's like we were born with a backpack full of gifts, right? And we got to, we got to learn how to use them. So 
it's like think of like I think of like a when you go on a, on a camping trip. <laughs> well, this one I just thought of this because this I just got this. So I got sometimes I get sent things from different seller retail sellers, and I got gifted like a hunting camping whole collection of goodies. I don't know. I don't know how to use any of those things. Like all these like little trinkets and stuff. I'm like, I, what is it? Like, I don't know how to use it. But then, you know, there's people that are professional camp campers. So all these things are, are crucial. I have to learn, I have to grow into it, right? I have to practice using them. I have to figure out how to, what to do with them. Side note, I don't know when I would even be going camping anytime soon to, to use them, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. You get gifted with stuff and all of a sudden I get invited to go camping in two months. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's why God gifted me with that. So that's what I want to let you know. Do not be defeated. It's kind of like when, and I, this is specifically for the millennials, because I get it. Like when you're growing up in the 90s, right? And you're dealing with a bully or you're dealing with the mean girls at school or the mean guys or whatever. And you just overcome it. Like you still stand up in front of the class and do your project with a smile on your face or you just still show up you know, at, at school every day and, you know, hold your, hold your head up high, knowing that you're going to get made fun of like, and you overcame that. Right. So it's the same thing with the YouTube game, you know, at this level, when you are just starting, it's part of the level that you're at. Like it's part of level one YouTube. And so if you think about it more like that, like this is a challenge, not like this is so hard and this is so intimidating and it's kind of like you make it bigger than you. You 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 amplify it and put it on a pedestal when it's not like that. Like when you're playing a video game, you're just on the level. Like you're just you're you're level with it. You're just on the flat ground with the level. <laughs> and you're just going through the different obstacles as you go. Right? So that's if you need to kind of like do a a mindset shift with it, then do that. But don't let it be because of a troll. I am actually grateful for my trolls because I notice that it's getting me, it's giving me, I don't know what to call this. It's some kind of strength, but I don't want to just say I mean, it's making me stronger because it's something more specific than that. And then maybe in the future, I'll, I'll be able to articulate what I'm talking about a little bit more clearly, but dealing with trolls is such a new thing in our day and age, like in the last 15, 20 years since the internet game, you know, was created, it's creating some kind of new muscle inside of human beings that it kind of makes you feel like, it's going to sound cheesy, but it just makes you feel more powerful. <laughs> you know, like I just feel like, wow, I'm able to still get my point across. I'm able to still have the passion to press on and still, you know, not let anything stop me. And I'm literally looking at somebody telling me that I'm ugly or telling me that they see acne on my face or telling me that my nose is too big or telling me that something about my hair, like, you know what I mean? And I'm still able to be like, Hey guys, so motivate and inspire yourself, get healthy. And I'm still able to like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's, I don't know what that's called, but like the fact that I'm able to still you know, of course I had my times where I would see that and it would completely throw me off. Like I would be go blank. I would be like, you know, wanting to, to react, wanting to get upset. And, and that's what the troll wants. The troll wants you to get thrown off. The troll wants you to get riled up and, and start to like drop your character, right? Like they want to see you in weakness. So it's, it's, I don't know. It's just unlocking something and I'll be able to articulate it in a different way at the right time. But I hope you guys get what I'm talking about with that. And you only could, it's like, I only would be able to develop this new, I'll just call it like a new YouTube superpower. I could only develop it through going through the trial and error of having trolls. Right? So again, just like a quick little mini recap let the trolls be there and let the trolls basically be new video ideas for you. Let the trolls help you become a stronger, you know, more confident person, right? Let the trolls show you how you're able to overcome adversity. 
and the list goes on, right? This might even be like a little series that I start. It might be titled, I don't know, I'll, I'll decide on what it's going to be titled, but I might even do a series on this as my page begins to grow because when I, as I'm, you know, as I have my page, I notice that people are like, oh man, I want to start a YouTube too. So these are, this is for the people that are watching my page and they've commented that like, th this is your time. Like we're, let's go into 2025 and finally rip the bandaid off and just go for it and be ready to like, just be ready. Just be ready to go into the, the YouTube level one and you get, you're getting like the little, I don't know what I'm trying to think of Sonic the Hedgehog or I don't know, just like the little things that are, are trying to come at you and get you and tear you down. Right? No, we're not going to do that. We're, we're just going to hit them right back or we're going to demolish them. Right. And we're just going to keep going till we pass level one and go to YouTube level two. And then we're going to go to YouTube level two and we're going to defeat that. We're going to go to YouTube level three. And that's all this is. If you just need to do a mindset shift. So that's what I want to tell you. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And this page, I'm always talking about health, fitness, and mindfulness, how I lost 30 pounds myself. So I have a story to tell. I lost 30 pounds, never gained it back. I have an ebook where I really, I dive into it and I'm, um, tell you guys exactly what I did to lose 30 pounds and never gain it back. It's in digital form, but this is what it is. It's down in the description. And I literally go into, it's 40 pages real qu quick read. Um, you could read, you know, literally read it in maybe 45 minutes if that, <laughs> and it's how I lost 30 pounds and never gained it back. So that's down in the description. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and subscribe and talk soon. Bye.